take action. Because if I can do it, I promise you any of you can do it. There's no question about that. If you want your present to be better, your future has to be bigger. All right, all right, all right. What's happening, fellas? What's up? What's up? In honor of Alby, I, I felt a little fire today, so oh. I, I had to I had to represent the uh, the twenty one six. So, man, I you know we were we were lighting it up before we we hit live here, um, cousin I um, Alby, kind of talking about what I'm I'm getting a lot of um, a lot of feedback, a lot of <laughs> hearing, a lot of people just kind of stalling out or getting stuck. And, and the more that we've talked about agentattractiontraining.com, getting back to the fundamentals, getting back to, to those basics, and then understanding that you have the how to tool now with, with the rapid funnel tool. I, I really wanted to, to unpack that. And one of the things that we were talking when you came on was just, just frustration and, you know, where, you know, kind of getting frustrated with people, um, not, following following the process so before we get to the process you know jay has that one story i tell it all the time because i'll let you kind of tell it with with your coach when you were working through and and just kind of thought you were doing it your way um it's just a fantastic story a fantastic reminder and i think it's really going to set up the stage for uh what we're going to bring the fire to everybody today about yeah i mean it's um you know it's I mean, it, you know, if you if you take all the conversations I have on a daily basis, I can summarize it down to to one thing, and and it's you know they're 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 not following the process, and you know maybe it's because you don't know the process, and if if you know and 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 I would probably say no different than when we talk to agents, ninety nine percent of the time, if they tell you they know what EXP is, they don't know what EXP is. They certainly don't know what partnering with us is. They can't tell you all the added value that they're going to get. When they partner with us, they can't tell you what NAEA is. They can't tell you what all, they, they don't. There's no way that an agent that you're talking to knows what this opportunity is. There's no way they know. And so, but they think they do, right? And so, I think this happens to all of us. I know it's happened to me, and that's the story that I'm gonna share. But you know, when I, you know, when I first started paying for coaching, and part part of this was, you know, there was dollars being exchanged, and there were dollars that I didn't have. You know, I when I first joined coaching, the very first coach I hired not the very first coach, but the very first very expensive coach I hired, um, you know, they told me to make these calls and follow the script. And, you know, if, if you ask me, I was following the script and, and, you know, I basically get on the call and I'm like, okay, man, this, this script isn't working. You know, the, you know, and he said, or I said, you know, I'm not getting any conversions. Da, 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 da. And he said, well, I was frustrated. Right. And um, he said, well, he said, you record your calls and we'll listen to them. So we did. I recorded my calls you know, we listened to him and listened to him together. And he said, I told you, you weren't following the script. And in my mind, I was like, I, I, that was the script. I just followed it. I mean, I have it pinned up right here. I know I said exactly what you said to say. And I didn't, I changed up a few words in the context of, of the script and it, it changed the context of how the script worked. And, and he said, go back, do it exactly what you're being told. And then let's talk again next week. And I did that. And it started working. I started setting appointments and it was just an aha moment for me. It was like, you know, you, you oftentimes don't realize that you, you, you change things up and try to make it your own. And, and really you're just not following the process. And if you're not, getting, are you going back to the process and saying, Hey man, this is where I'm not, this is where I'm probably doing something wrong. Let me see if I'm really truly following the training that I've been given. <clears throat> and it, and it's hard to do because we're entrepreneurs. And, and, and if you, if you, you know, at the surface level, you probably think you're doing everything right. The reality is you're probably missing things, and you're probably changing up the con, you know, the, the the construct enough that it's it's not getting results. And so, you know, going back to the training, you know, agentattractiontraining.com. If you haven't, if you don't know that forwards and backwards, um, then I can tell you that that you know you're the reason you're frustrated is because you're not following the process. And and you know, just be a good copycat. We it, it became a joke to me. Like it, I adopted <laughs> I adopted this. Uh, you know, this, uh, you know, CB lingo, right? You know, me and Mike would call each other, hey, copycat number one, this is copycat number two, over here, do you read me? And we just got really good at like, if somebody got a great result with something, we did it exactly the way it was, it was, they said to do it. And we would always get similar results. And when we didn't get results, usually it was something that we did, not something that was because that didn't work because of this or that or whatever. It was usually because 
um, we had missed something. And, and, and that was just you know, something that, you know, that really made us very quite successful because we're, you know, if you over entrepreneur, you, you start changing, you know, 10% of this, 10% of that, you're now you're going to get a hundred percent different result. And, um, and so, you know, that's what, you know, that's what I would encourage everybody to do as we've gone back through and really, you know, re-looked at things that we can make better. Um, agent attraction training, that entire process is just to the T, um, the best, best, best thing that uh, you could be following. Yeah. A hundred percent. And, and that's what I, you know, I've had, you know, Al, you, you were bringing it up. We've been talking about it the last couple of weeks and that's, uh, you know, just talking to, to other agents that are kind of getting frustrated with it. And it's like, Hey, go back, let's reset. Right. When's the last time that you went through that? You know, for us, you know, when Michael, what he created it, 18, 19 timeframe. So, you know, being able to go back and, and, and go back through that process and, and recalibrate reset. <laughs> Um, yeah. and, and, you know, we, we just, we get it, we just form habits, we get into bad habits. And yep. so we might've been following the process well in the beginning, but we just, we just form some type of bad habit and we're just not aware of it. And so, you know, being I, yeah, able to I'm, I'm guilty. Ways. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. Like to the, to the point that, you know, me and I went back through it again and it had been a while since we'd gone through it. And I was questioning like, did I ever actually really go through this? Because I don't remember this piece, like, and this piece is fire. Right. And so, you know, it's, it, it's really, it, it really is. Uh, and here's what I would encourage you to do is go back through it, go back through it, agentattractiontraining.com, go back through it and count all the places where you know that you weren't doing, you're not doing it, right? It's like, it's not, it's the curse of knowledge. You know that you should be doing something or you know this, oh, I know this, I know this, but are you using it? Am I actually doing it or do I just know it and I'm not using it? And so it goes back to the well chart. It goes back to all the basics and like how many, count how many things you're not doing that's been being, that's been taught to you. And I promise you it, that that's going to be an eye opening experience for most people because it, it's going to be overwhelmingly obvious why the results aren't there. If you go back and take note of where you're really where, you know, that you may know this, but you're not doing it. And that's right. um, and then, you know, like you said, John, before we got on is then it's just consistency. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's that's uh, you, you brush your teeth every day. You can you, you can do this every day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not rocket science and it's not that hard. Yeah. You know, um, it's in Atomic Habits. Coach Burt talks about it too. Um, talks about the the gentleman that drives to the gym for five minutes every day, and you know he you know do you believe that he's he's getting anything out of that? Well, if he's doing it every day, he's being consistent. He's damn sure getting something out of it. And and so it's it's just being consistent in in those activities over time um, allows that to uh, you know collect and continue. So. Um, Albie, anything you want to add? I, you know, I asked cause he's got, he's got the agent attraction training stuff pulled up. So really going to just kind of walk through it and all of the things and, you know, what, what really helps overcome, you know, people's limiting beliefs or, or understanding of the process it's, it's laid out in there. Other than just the fact of, um, yes, <clears throat> go through it. And then the, the best thing that I did personally, like when I went through it, I didn't make it like when I first sat down to go back through it again last week, I didn't make it through the whole training in one sitting. But what I did do is as soon as I got done with the part that I finished, I went and, and just sent, I went and sent some videos. I went and I just took some action right away um, because I want to, I want to start seeing momentum and it's just little, little bit bits of action. You know, I added five people to my rapid funnel when I watched, I think it was like maybe the first half or three quarters of it or whatever, I went back and then, you know, finished <clears throat> the, the rest of it and then took a little bit more action. So, you know, I would encourage anybody who's on here today to not only go through it, you know, commit to a certain amount of time to go through it and then some time to take some action, just a small action, like add five people and send five of the uh, sizzle videos out. You know, just, just five, you know, not 50, just do, anybody can do five, you know, and just try to get a little win in there um, while you're doing it. And so, um, no, I, I mean, I mean, I, I can add one thing is that I think the biggest aha that I, the thing that I knew that I have not been doing is the PGPs with brand new recruits. You bring somebody aboard. First thing you should be doing is having them go into their phone, pick five or 10 people that they know and get them on a PGP and get somebody under them like like right away when they're new. It's a huge opportunity that we've missed because we just we just haven't been doing that consistently. And it's a great way to, um, you know, 
get your recruit to see success right away. And I'll, I'll, uh, tell everybody what a PGP is. It's a private group presentation um, where, you know, let's, let's say <clears throat> Jay or myself or anybody could really, you know, hold it. Anyone that would normally, I guess, do a three-way call that knows the presentation can do it. But, you know, Jay kind of does one every, every two weeks. It's on recording on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's an example of a P it's a private group presentation on uh, the opportunity. And um, what's great about the way Jay does it on Tuesdays and Thursdays is he intertwines. It's not just about EXP. It's about growing their business. It's about adding multiple streams of income. It's, it's about the um, never having to pay for coaching again. You know, it's, it's one of those, it's, 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 it's our whole value proposition wrapped into the presentation. So, um, yeah. And then you just add, you know, you invite five to 10 people to it. Invite, invite, invite. Yeah. Because you want to just kind of walk through kind of what's inside of the training for everybody and, and, you know, how that helps them, you know, write things right order and overcome, you know, not skipping those steps in the process. Right. Okay. Chrome has lost permission, system preferences. Uh, it won't let me share. So let me fix that real quick. Let me attempt to fix that real quick. <laughs> this actually happened to somebody just the other day. Yeah, StreamYard can get a little goofy sometimes. I'm see it. Not even What's up, it. everybody out there, man? If you guys um, have any questions or comments, throw it into the chat. We'll uh, we'll definitely unpack that for you. It's what uh, what we get to love to hang out with you guys on Tuesday mornings and um, be here to to help you guys get unstuck in anything in your agent attraction efforts, trying to grow your trying to grow your organization. And so um, we're talking about, you know, kind of getting back to the fundamentals, getting back to the basics and being able to, you know, understand kind of the process to go about getting clear and what, what to do and in what order for your agent attraction, your organization building engine. I don't think it's going to let me do it here. Should show up in the preferences, but it's not showing up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I can walk through some of that's crazy. I, I wish I could just share. Let me see if there's another way to share this here. So try to share again. Maybe I can share my whole screen. Nope. All right, let's just walk through it for him. Yeah. So, so as you start off, I mean, like, first of all, this is done really, really well as you go through each of these videos. They're usually pretty short. But the first, you know, the first little thing it starts with is, you know, is ex explaining the opportunity, explaining passive right. income. Can you hear me? Track agents. Whoops, the goal should be. I'm looking at the video now. So it just it it goes into explaining explaining all the reasons why um, leveraged income versus uh, passive income, you know, not, not that you may not know all these things, but like in starting this process and, and explain, Hey, listen, you, you know, let's get it to where it pays off your car first. Then we get it to where it pays off your house. Then, then we can get it to a point where, you know, you never have to work again. And that's really the goal, but it's in bite-sized chunks and just kind of explaining the vision. It starts out with that, why you want to do this, why this is, why this is important. And once you understand that it's real hard for you to not wake up every day thinking about it. And so part of, part of, you know, what Mike did a great job in building, building this out was in giving you a real good anchored reason why you're doing it in the first place. And, and so that you don't get distracted by selling another house or another shiny object or whatever the case may be, but it starts with that. Um, <laughs> it, it goes into the, you know, the first step in the process is, is setting up the wealth chart. There's a download for you to download it. Um, and I, I know two or three people, actually three or four people total that, have ever sent me their wealth chart at the first of the month. And out of, out of everybody in the whole organization, 10,000 people, that's, that is, it's the, it's the thing that I know for a fact, we did it. Al, I know you did it. Kitchens did it. I did it. We all had it. We had it printed out sitting in front of us and we did it for the first four, four years. We've kind of completed our whole wealth chart. Um, but mine's all ratty, ratty beat up. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got my old one and I've got my big one up on the wall over here in the corner. Um, but yeah, that, so it goes through that. It goes into identifying your top 100. It gives you the memory joggers, a download, um, um, a download you can use to all the people that, that you can think of that, you know, they'll give you names to think of, to fill out that, fill out that chart. Um, discovering their core um, problem, you know, inviting every, a lot of people, you know, tell me they have biggest challenges. Well, how do I start a conversation? Well, and that, in the inviting portion of this, it goes into um, explaining all the, all the ways that you can identify what, where their challenges are, kind of a needs analysis, and then, and, and turn that conversation, build a bridge and turn that conversation into an invitation to watch the video. This right, that fundamentally right there is yeah. most people's biggest challenge. Yeah. And it breaks down by using the eight stages that we have of the business. Um, absolutely. Um, good stuff, right? So um, where am I? I started giving, so there's transitioning uh, to an invitation by building a bridge is the next video. What to send to who? Choosing the right presentation. What are you sending to who and why? Which Why it is what, what presentation, the ones that we use. And, um, um, launch your first invitations. Um, the direct invitation script, uh, in, uh, indirect invitations explains what direct and indirect is. You know, somebody um, you're being direct with or you're being indirect in your approach. Um, it gives you, it sounds like I'm cutting out. So I don't know if that's a I got you loud and clear. I no, think you're good. good. Yeah, you're All good. Right. Um, yeah. So and then, then it goes into the three-way calls, how to do the three-way calls. Um, PGPs, the personal group presentations, video presentations, um, using rapid funnel. Um, as your reference, live events and workshops, lunch and learns, how to do those, um, and then you know, sending the next steps email. What do you send when somebody's ready? All of that. So it, it's soup to nuts. Everything that you need um, is all in this training at agentattractiontraining.com. It's free to you. It's only for you because this is for agents that are in our our revenue share group that get the benefit of this. So definitely um, a ton of value and and uh, all broke down specifically in this training for you. Yeah, I want to take this step further because you mentioned something about the mindset is that if there's somebody that's watching this and still has the mindset, I'm just not, I, I just want to sell lots of houses. I'm not interested, but you, maybe you're like thinking about it. Watch this training because it, it will give you the, the mindset like Jay was talking about earlier where he walks. I thought that was one of the just first things that jumped out as brilliant to me is the way Mike. There's not too many people on the planet just that can that can walk somebody right through that, you know, and, and change their thinking like Mike. And right. uh, he did it really, really well because he baby stepped it through it, like you had said. And said the first step is to like get, you know, have your car payment paid. Once that, you know, happens, then you know, the rest of your personal expenses. And then after that, your business expenses to the point where you don't have to sell houses again to make it make a living. And it was just the way that he articulated that that was just like man more people need to hear that message mm -hmm. you know so if you're on the fence and you're just like maybe i don't know this is for me but maybe watch that training watch the first 10 minutes of the training at least and see right. if your mind's changed right 100 <clears throat> percent uh, you know and then i would accompany that with um you know if you haven't gone through carruthers the freedom manifesto book that one was that that one was really kind of like eye opening for for me was going through that and hearing that and you know pausing re rewinding listening to it rewinding and and that, that's why i think that's probably one of the most powerful books to give to give somebody um as a you know kind of as a when you when you see them gift them that book to see if you know their their mindset can be be shifted at the moment mm. I have a, a, a recruiting appointment literally right after this. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm working with. This guy right here is what John's talking about. Yep. Yeah, so powerful. Untrapped. Yep. It is. And then, um, you know, for, for you guys, um, Giselle, that's a Brian Carruthers book, Untrapped Freedom Manifesto. Yep. Great book. It's a great book. Oh, I just got notified that somebody clicked on a link in an email that I sent them. My rapid funnel is working. Yeah. You set people up on those campaigns. Guess what? They work. 
Yeah, they do. Tell people if they haven't, you know, been able to connect or, you know, need to hear it again. What, what, what are you guys talking about with the rapid yeah. funnel? So yeah, rapid funnel is the app that we, we built in our customized videos, um, your customized videos to share <clears throat> with agents. And, um, yeah, we, we, we built in testimonials from people in the group. It's just, it's such a much bigger, better offer than just trying to talk to someone about EXP or just send an EXP explain video. Um, it's really approaching them where they're at. So the app is, um, I think it's the honey badger dot app. The honey badger dot app is, um, where you go to download the app and, um, all the custom videos that you should be sending, um, are built into that. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Once you get in there, um, you add a contact, you go to the contact, send the resources from the contact and, um, it tracks everything, um, as far as, you know, what they click on, what they watched, you know, what, where they're at in the process. <clears throat> so anyone listening, let me know if this, this is you. Has, have you ever had a really great, meaningful conversation with someone that you want to start attracting and then all of a sudden you drop the ball? You forget to follow up with them. They kind of drop off the face. You drop off. They don't drop off the face of the earth. You do because you're, you're not using a system. Let's just say you're busy. You're busy selling 100 houses. Good for you. That's great. But you, you tend to drop the ball on this because it's taking a back burner. What if you had a system that once you dropped them in and had that initial conversation, it just followed up for you. It stayed in touch for you. That's what these, these, these campaigns, and there's two different campaigns that are built in. If you made a habit every single day of adding some people and then having a, having a quick conversation with them, sending them an item of value, and then adding them to the, to the follow-up campaign, how many more people would not fall through the cracks? Cause I can tell you, it's not for me. It's not one or two or three. It's like a, it's like a, a couple dozen, maybe more. Maybe if I'm being real, three dozen people have fallen through the cracks that I started good conversations with. We started making momentum, and then guess what? Forgot about them. It happens so all I'm just, the I'm just putting time. people on these campaigns. They're well written. Jay wrote them himself. The uh, one thing that I think we had we have to add add in. I was talking to Mike the other day. Is um. And I don't know, maybe they're in there, but I, I'd have to look at them again, Jay, if you have them up. It's the it's the the testimonials we have in there that you can like one off send the uh, the testimonial videos. Yeah, but we we should put those in the follow up campaigns. Right. If they're not, if they're not in there already, we got to get those added in because they're powerful. So powerful. <laughs> you got to have that social proof. You got to have those those stories. Um, I mean, it's just. It's, it's one thing coming from you, but it's just that, that outside validation. It's so critical, right? I mean, go back to, yeah. go back to influence, right? Cialdini's, um, you know, it's one of the laws. So and it, and it's explained in the agent attraction training, like edification, all the things that are in this, like, you know, you'd have to spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to understand the reasons why on every little thing and the way things are done. Um, but yeah, it's it, it, everything. Ha everything's in there for a reason, and so it all helps move people along in the process. And then you know, helping with some of the language goes back to what we've been talking about. You know, we talked about a little bit about it yesterday. Was you know Phil M. Jones, um, you know, kind of knowing what to say, and goes just made me think with the edification. If I would you, if I could, you know, get you on the phone with with X Y Z, um, you know, would you jump on? And, you know, just being able to, to use those, the powerful, you know, language to be able to, to help you with the edification, with this process, with getting people to wanting, you know, be like, hell yeah, I would love to get on a conversation with that. Yeah, Giselle, that is it. Uh, agentattractiontraining.com. For sure. Yeah, it's a great read. Easy, fast. You blow right through it in an afternoon or two. Awesome. Any anything else out there that um, we're kind of we're kind of <laughs> seeing? Um, for sure, the follow up. And because you and I were talking about this, you know, Coach, kind of kind of hammering down on on the follow up side of things this month in his in his coaching. And 
you know, he said that, you know, just making sure you're spending a lot of time talking about their, talking about their problem and, and your solution instead of, you know, talking about, Hey, you get this, you get this. And, and that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of people, they come in and they EXP all over the place. You know, we joke, Hey, what's the first rule of fight club? You know, talk about fight club. What's the first rule of EXP? And you're excited, but you have to maintain that excitement. You have to maintain that enthusiasm, but you got to get them excited about solutions to, to what their issues are. And that's what coach was, was hammering down hard on. So it was a really good reminder. And, um, you know, so, any, anything there that you guys can add, like, hey, you know, be intentional with your follow up with this. Hey, you got campaigns that can do this, but what else could they be doing on the follow up side of things? I mean, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is 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 having a, you know, the first thing I don't remember who said it the other day. Oh, it was actually it was um, it was Phil M. Jones, and he said everything should end in, in dashes and commas. And what he meant was that everything, you know, everything leads to a next step not to an end right and that hey you know i'm going to send you something and now i have a reason to follow up or um never you know never let it get to the end you get to you know the end of a conversation hey um i'm you know i'm going to set up our next call with so and so whatever the case may be but always don't let the conversations come to an end where you don't know what you should follow up with next Find something and send them something else. Send them something else. Hey, what's the one thing I could help with? All right, I'm going to look. I'm going to find something. I'm going to send it to you. Um, it's going to really be help help you with your lead generation challenge. I'm going to send you this video. Or, you know, continuously be having a reason to follow up, right? That makes the follow-up 10 times easier is there's a good reason for you to follow back up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's like, you know, hey, would this be of, I mean, as simple as, hey, you know, I was thinking about, would this be of interest of you to you? Right. You know, are you are, are you wrestling with this? Would this event be of interest to you? Okay, no. What what are you wrestling with? What would be of interest to you? And I, it, one of the things that stands out on um, the second time we had Vincent Koo on Expert Mentors Live, that was the one thing that he he said. If you just do one thing really really well, and he said that's just become world class at inviting, and never let it never let it end you're always inviting them to something you're inviting them to a conversation you're inviting them to a training you're inviting them to an event you're always inviting and he said man if you can just get that right you'll you'll stumble into success and but uh he's it was it was really good if you guys haven't uh you guys tuning in it's worth it's worth diving into and listening to expert mentors live with vincent Koo. yeah i mean <clears throat> you mentioned coach um, I don't know anybody who follows up, you know, really who, who, who literally does exactly what he teaches. You know, we, we got to experience that follow up and it wasn't follow up like, Hey, I'm just checking in seeing how you're doing. That's not follow up. Nope. You know, his follow up is adding value. His follow up is yes. Inviting to another event or inviting them to watch something that, he feels can help them solve the problem. Yep. And <clears throat> I think going back to what you were saying, John, one of the things that we've seen screwed up mostly is that you have the, 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 the person who isn't afraid to have a conversation. They're not afraid to, to do the follow-up. And then all of a sudden they get them close to the finish line, but they're talking the wrong language to them. They keep talking about revenue share. And that's not something that they're really interested in at all. There, there may be more. I had a call yesterday. The person is just stoked. They're selling like 80, 90 houses a year. And they're happy doing that. And they want to know about all the stock. They are pumped about the stock. Yeah. You no. Know? So um, you have to know how to speak to these people in their language, not yours. Just because you're pumped up about revenue share doesn't mean that they will. Right. You know, that, that that can come in time when they start seeing it, when, when their mind, the gate of their mind is open to that. But speak to what they're, they are open to, 100%. what they are excited about. Here, here's something that um, that that Phil Jones, um, a little comment that he had made. And in every conversation, what you're trying to do is you're trying to trigger the show me that you know me. But that in, in that conversation, you're trying to trigger the show me that you know me button. And that's what creates trust is you're like, man, you really understand what my, what I'm trying to do, my problem, my challenge, whatever, my, the, what I'm trying to accomplish. And so if you're not speaking in their language, then you're not being curious enough. You're not being curious and asking enough questions. The more questions you ask, the more they're going to talk. 
And so just be curious. It's not, it's really not that difficult if you're just genuinely curious about what they're doing, how they're doing it, what problems are they having? If they could change one thing, what would it be three years from now? What do you want this to look like? The, the more you for what they're trying, you know, what it is they're trying to do and what might be the rock in their shoe, the more, you know, empathy, they're going to start to have trust because you you have empathy. I thought that was good. Trigger the show me that you know me button. That is so awesome, man. And, and it goes right back to, you know, CHSA, CHBA, law number one, law of expertise, asking the tough questions. It's right there. It's the very first thing. And, you know, if you, if you get into um, understanding and, and let's, let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about this on the um, listing side, right? Working with, working with sellers, you're, you're asking those, those tough questions because you're trying to uncover what they're, what's keeping them up at night. What's their true motivation for wanting to make a move. And you never let go of that. So when Al was talking about that, that agent, that is like, just super, talk to me about the stock. Talk me, talk to me about that. And you stay on, you stay on that because let's, let's bring it full circle with sellers. What happens when sellers get an offer? They have selective amnesia. They forget what their real motivation was and you have to be able to bring that back to them. That's why we always ask, Hey, has the goal changed? And so like for even with Al, you know, it's just now they go off on another deal. You can keep talking about the stock, you know, Hey, still exciting you, you know, the reason that they came to you in the first place. And, um, it just all ties together. I mean, it's all principle driven. It's all, it all comes, you know, full circle, but it, it is, you nailed it. It's just staying curious and just asking questions and really uncovering kind of where they're at in their head. And, and how can you join that, join that conversation? Yeah. I, I blew through that audio book, uh, Jay. And yeah. Uh, um, ex it's exactly what to say. Yeah. And there's one for, for the one, the version for real estate agents, you can buy it for like four dollars and ninety nine cents. It's super cheap, but it's it's got it's all directed toward you know it's it's not for really um, I don't think it's written for recruiting. <clears throat> it's more more along the lines for real estate sales, but he's got a lot of great you know um, you know it, it, it's it's one of those things where you know it's it's it is exactly what to say. It may not be in like the order of the context on when to say those things, but it's definitely, uh, it reminds me a little bit of, uh, my first trainer ever was Floyd Wickman. Yeah. And Floyd Wickman had, you know, this, this book of like what to say. And, oh man, it was like the best. I remember I me, mean, I still today use some of his, his stuff. Like, is that a yes? You know, <laughs> is that a yes? Um, and, and I mean, obviously some of it's a little bit dated and salesy or whatever, but they're still just great principles, um, behind, you know, the words to say, um, I believe, uh, uh, what was the guy's name again that wrote the book? Exactly what to say. Uh, Bill M. Jones, Bill M. Jones. He starts out talking about questions and, and he talks about he who asks the question stays in control of the conversation. Mm. And, and so when you're, when you're asking, not just like, and, and, you know, Hoss Pratt used to always talk about not going linear, linear, but going deep and going three levels deep in your conversations, that shows them that they're, that they're actually listening to you. So, you know, or that you're actually listening to them, excuse me. So, you know, don't, you know, there, there's nothing worse. I mean, <clears throat> people call and they're like, hey, how would you do an interview on uh, StreamYard with me? I'm like, yeah, sure. Always, I never turn anyone down. After the first couple, I noticed there was a pattern. Everyone was very linear in their questioning to me. And so I, you know, try to coach them before like the next ones and say, hey, look, I know that you have a list of questions here. But instead of just going and blowing through the list of questions, listen to the answer to the question and then go a level deeper and then go a level deeper. And you build that affinity and you build that trust with the prospect because then they know you're listening to them. Yeah, a hundred, hundred percent. That's, that's the goat, right? You know, um, Gene talks about that all the time. He's like, my next question is based upon what you tell me. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really my next question. That's how I keep the conversation going. So yeah, a hundred percent. So here, here's, um, so I, th this was actually a post that was on Instagram. <laughs> I thought was pretty valuable. It's seven ways to start a conversation with anyone. So one is ask for help or information. So 
Um, you know where I can pick up a, you know, a workshop schedule is the example they gave. The second one is note that you're in this together. Um, this is a kind of an odd one, but the, you know, these parties are always so awkward, aren't they? Everybody's supposed to network, no pressure or whatever, right? The third one was notice something nice. Hey, that was a productive meeting. I feel like we generated some solid ideas. Um, the fourth one is pay a compliment. Hey, I really like your hair. It compliments your suit. I think this the example you use um, with this one is, you know, pay them a compliment about their business, about what they do in their business, especially if it's a transaction you recently had. Ask an opinion. Hey, what do you think about real estate coaching? It's a great question you could ask people. Look for common ground. You know, how long have you been in the business? Um, just being curious again. Um, and then offer help. You know, um, looks like you. You know, looks like you. Um, you might be looking for ways to grow your business. And I think I have something that might help. Something along those lines. So that that was pretty good. Little little conversation starter ideas. Those are good. They're real good. I love the one. What do you think about coaching? Yeah. What do you think about real estate coaching? I mean, what do you think about real estate coaching? You ever had a coach? Find out if they're coachable. Yep. Yep. For sure. Um, Giselle was asking a question. I think that that that's rapid funnel. That's the that's the tool. I think if you're looking for funnels for specific platforms, it's in the rapid funnel tool. And I, Jay, we're gonna get uh, the called university section of that the trainings. We're gonna get that updated with um, agentprotectiontraining.com modules, right? Right. That's been that's in the process. If it's not already there. All right. Good. I haven't looked today to see if it's been updated, but it will be up there. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's just a great reminder, man. Just get back to the basics, get back to the training, get back to, you know, making sure we're not, you know, getting a little lazy in our habits, getting some bad habits. Um, it's, it's the whole thing, right? It's okay to hit the snooze alarm every now and then, but if you're doing it every day, it's just a habit that's not going to serve you. So you've got to be, uh, as, as humans, we just got to be reminded more than we need to be told and um, just getting back through, going through the process and um, back into, you know, continuing to go deep, deep on, you know, what's proven to work. Amen. Where is the honeybadger.app Jay mentioned on video drip campaign? Let me, let me just add, I'll, I'll put it in the comments. It's, it's the honeybadger.app should take you straight to it. If you just put that in the URL. Or you can just go to the app store and download the uh, rapid phone and go that way. And the code word is going to be honey badger. <clears throat> if you do it that way. And I know on the training post and training emails that went out, it was at the bottom of there uh, to get the link. <clears throat> Trying to get it out there as many, many places as we can for you guys. Hey, I have a little, uh, a little sneak, sneak peek. We can't, we can't let the cat out of the bag yet. Like completely. We can't give you the link yet, but we have a, uh, we got a surprise for all you honey badgers coming up here. We have our online store is up and running. And uh, we, uh, this is just a little teaser. <clears throat> the reason we're not putting the link up yet is because we want to, we want to get some of the merch back and uh, check it out and make sure that it, it's, it's all coming in, you know, how it, it, it's supposed to be and that it's quality because that's a big deal to us. We like, we like swag, but we like our quality swag. So yes, sir. we got hats, t-shirts, we got sweatshirts, hoodies. We have, um, uh, we have mugs. Uh, we got a really cool lineup of, of, of great honey badger swag. Um, it'll look a little like that. Stickers. We got a sticker. Honey badger so, don't uh, care. Stay tuned to that, and we'll put the link up. I got a, a, a shipping notice, Jay. Mine mine should be being delivered any day now. Which, means, too, which means mine will be here a few days after yours, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah as soon as we get we get it i'm gonna tear it open check it out it's a go we're gonna launch it and you guys can uh, have at it so cool yeah 
All right, fellas, uh, man, I just straight fire today. I, I've been been kind of thinking about that, just conversations, and I just wanted to make sure we really hammered home. Um, everybody getting back in, go back. It's time to go back through back through the training, and um, you know, really reset, refocus, recalibrate, get crystal clear, and just follow the process. If you're not getting the results, it's, it's you're trying to do, you're trying to entrepreneur or something, and um, just follow the process. You can be a copycat, or as Jay Abraham would say, you're modeling what works. Take action, gents and ladies. All right, all right, all right. All right, fellas, appreciate y'all. Um, catch you guys soon. See ya. Be at the top. See ya from the top.